हेलो एवरी वन सो इफ यू रिमेम्बर इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट वर्चुअल लीज लाइन एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू सम मोर पार्ट इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी फिनिश द पार्ट वन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू द पार्ट टू सो वॉट वी लर्न वॉट वी अंडरस्टैंड वी टोल्ड दिस इज ए आई एस पी क्लाउड दे हैव सो मेनी राउटर स्विचेस इन साइड दिस वन एंड वी आर नॉट रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दैट वन वी विल नॉट डू एनी थिंग वी आर रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर अवर साइट ओनली दिस इज अवर एज राउटर इन दिस ओनली वी नीड टू डू द कॉन्फिग्रेशन वॉट एवर वी नीड टू डू हियर ऑल्सो वी हैव अवर एज राउटर वी नीड टू डू हियर ओनली कॉन्फिग्रेशन वॉट एवर वी नीड टू डू एंड वी टेकन द वर्चुअल लीज लाइन दैट इज ए प्राइवेट लाइन मीन्स दिस इज एक्सपेंसिव लाइन ऑल कंपनीज विल नॉट टेक दिस वन ओनली द बिग कंपनीज दे कैन अफोर्ड दिस वन because this is very expensive anyhow uh, many companies are using the internet connection and they are applying the vpn they can do that way also but if the company want the purchase, uh, purchase the virtual lease line they can take this one also okay so many companies use this one also the big companies and now what we are we need to understand here uh, last time we assigned the ip here okay and here also we assigned the ip this ip isp did not give us just they give the cable or they give the line they ask us to use whatever ip you want to use okay so now we configure the ip here we configure the ip here when we try to ping from this router to this router connectivity is okay isp told they check the mac address and they found our mac address there okay isp told they found our mac address and they told our connectivity is good you can do your routing protocol or whatever you want to run you can run they told us this one now what we can do we need to advertise this network okay to this branch and we need to advertise this network to our head office to this branch so we can run any routing protocol okay we can run any routing protocol and here this is a private line so only if you want to run only routing protocol that is also sufficient or some companies some companies even they buy the private line they are doing the vpn configuration here okay for the security even they buy the private line they are doing the vpn configuration so that depend company to company that depend company to company they want to do the vpn configuration or not anyhow that we are going to cover the vpn configuration in our ccnp course so no need to worry without vpn configuration also many companies are using we can also use no issue because this is a virtual lease line we taken this is separate this is dedicated to us only we are only using this line okay so for that purpose even if we did not configure the vpn no issue we can configure the here ospf we can uh, enable the osp of on this particular interface okay this interface this interface and this interface okay we will do that one we so see here what we told we are going to run the osp of here but before that one let me show you example this is a isp okay this is isp cloud generally we are not doing anything here okay this is from the isp side we are not doing anything if you see here isp will check he will check he told i am getting your mac address okay you connected your router i am getting your mac address this is your mac address connect uh, this is your mac address this is your mac address this is mac address from jidda this is mac address from uh, riyadh they will confirm you connectivity is okay they will ask you to ping and check this router from this router to this router they will ask you ping from this router to this router when you ping this one everything is okay isp will say our task is finished now whatever configuration you want to do you can do so then we can start ospf here and if you want to do vpn we can do vpn here but in this lab we will do the ospf to make the connectivity because this is our server this guy want to access the server he cannot access let me show you this guy want to access the server he cannot access let me try i will write ping 192.168.1.3 see destination host unreachable unreachable okay so we need to configure the any routing protocol so let me write here this is the configuration which we wrote in our previous class so now i will write here router ospf1 okay interface i am uh, doing the interface method g0 by 0 by 0 ip ospf1 
area 0 okay I enable the OSPF under this interface okay now I am going to enable to other interface also so let me copy this one and paste here and I will change this interface into one here any doubts here I am doing by interface method you can use network command also what I am doing I am enabling the OSPF to this interface and this interface if you don't know what is the interface you can go here and enable that one this one so you can see the interface also so now if you see G0 by 0 by 0 okay G0 by 0 by 1 so we have two interface here also G0 by 0 by 0 G0 by 0 by 1 so what I will do this configuration is good we can copy this whole configuration and we can paste so I will copy this whole same configuration router OSPF1 okay interface uh, G0 by 0 by 0 IP OSPF1 area 0 I am enabling the OSPF this two interface I am not defining the router ID they will take automatically okay now I will go inside this router in the head office that is in the Riyadh let me go to the global configuration mode then I will paste the configuration if you see everything is okay no issue nothing everything is working fine perfectly so now we need to do same configuration because we have the same interface so I will paste here I will paste here okay now let me go to the another router for the Jida branch I think Jida or the mom this one Jida branch and we can perform the same operation here also I will go in the enable config t config t and then we will paste the configuration here okay now configuration is done let me save the configuration here and let me save the configuration here also we will have the neighborship now neighborship will come if you see here now we can perform we can check the neighborship we can write show IP OSPF neighbor if you see we have the neighbor 12.2 okay they are in the full state and it is BDR okay and if you want to check show IP root OSPF we have the OSPF root 192.168.2.0 2.0 we are learning okay 2.0 we are learning this is a 2.0 this one so now we have this one also so everything is good now we can check our uh, uh, branch that is Jidda branch before he is unable to access some server from the head office now he can access or not let's see okay so we are pinging 192.168 see one uh, packet go for ARP address resolution protocol okay we lost one packet because of ARP address resolution protocol I hope you know what is ARP with the help of ARP we are going to get the MAC address over the IP address okay we will go send one packet asking that I am coming from this MAC address this IP address I need the MAC address of this IP address okay anyhow no need to worry just remember we lost one packet for ARP address resolution protocol this we already discussed in CCNA you can see that video so you will have what is ARP and now connectivity is okay our uh, Jidda branch is able to access the Riyadh server okay how we done we taken the virtual lease line and we enable the routing protocol we use the OSPF here we use the OSPF here okay if you want to configure VPN we can configure VPN also here for more security but this is already our lease line and we are only using so no need we can uh, do that one when we use the internet connection okay so thank you very much for seeing our video thank you bye